Hey, wondering people, don't bother about your exam because I'm here. Okay, I am Sila Ramesh, founder of Coding Podaka. So I am here to help you all throughout your academics, guys, which are who are studying in the JNTH by teaching these JNTH subjects and as well as giving the important questions for the subjects. Okay, and also I will teach the subjects in the online as a courses on Python, Python to ML and SQL also. Okay, so if you are interested, you can get to uh, you can get joined in our courses by going through our website called uh, codingphotoka.blog blogspot.com guys okay so let's get into the topic guys so uh, first we will discuss about the unit 1 5 marks questions guys so here i am going to give the all the 5 marks questions for unit wise in the last top in the last slide i'll give the all the important questions of 1 marks in all units guys okay so you can see here that this is a very easy subject you can get the you can uh, you can score uh, you can score good marks guys okay so you can see here that in the unit one you have to study first that yeah uh, the first two units based on the ruby guys so you have to study the ruby language so like a python this is also a scripting language so here what is ruby describe about the lexical and syntactic structure of the ruby language that means how it is compiling how it is logically performing the operations that, that is all the thing you have to uh, study guys okay and then the, the advantages of that ruby language guys so uh, they can also ask like what is ruby and write down the advantages of ruby also they can ask if they ask like that question that will give the five marks this is for 10 marks guys okay next what is cookie this is also very important question most time repeated question and what are web services and how do you we use a soap to implement web services in ruby so soap or the ruby uh, soap is also a web server web services so how we are using that web services to transfer our data so in the ruby language guys that is the code also you have to learn okay and describe the different canvases available in ruby toolkit toolkit so it, uh, there is a toolkit in ruby like in our python also we are having the uh, tick inter library so like that here also we are having toolkit so in that uh, how we are representing the canvas and how different types of canvas are there so you have to learn those are all the things and that is the thing you have to describe here okay and next explain about the widgets and binding events in the ruby uh, ruby toolkit so you have to study about the toolkit uh, all the things in the ruby to toolkit guys because of in the toolkit there are some widgets that is nothing but a button click up checkbox that, that are called independent components are called uh, all, all called as a widget so you have to study about that widgets and as well as as well as the binding events that is nothing but a whenever i click on the mouse what will happen so that is a binding event you have to study guys okay next i create a simple ruby tp application tk application this is also very important because of so uh, there is no chance of asking the remi uh, anything else guys these are all the things only they will ask okay so try to study these questions only guys don't bother about because of trust me you will get uh, you will get the most of the questions from this video guys okay so next how do we get how do we package management in ruby using ruby gems this is also a very important question so uh, try to focus on the things what i am what i am uh, putting a mark on the uh, putting a uh, tick mark on the questions try to focus on them uh, and later try to focus on the remaining guys okay so next how do we write a cj scripts using ruby this is also a very important question because of uh, is, is also a most repeated question guys explain about the structure and execution of the ruby program so i have i, uh, I have studied earlier also that is called in the first question as well how it is interpreting how it is storing the data the, the, that is all the thing you should know guys okay so when it comes to next second unit advanced ruby so explain about the ruby type system this is also a very important question most repeated question illustrate the embedding of ruby to other languages so in html if i want to run ruby language how to uh, embed them so that is also a thing uh, this is a uh, more uh, very often question but study guys don't worry so try uh, try to study what and all a question I, i'll give here okay explain various c and ruby data type conversion functions and macros with clear syntax and illustrative examples for each so don't study about the data types try to study about the data time uh, data type conversion examples also guys so you all uh, you already know that uh, con converting of one type to another type is called data type conversion but there is not uh, 
here they are not asking that they are asking that functions and macros so you have to write clear syntax and with examples guys okay then so how to embed ruby in your application here embedding into other application other languages here into our application how you can uh, embed okay that is also a thing you, have, you should learn and write a ruby programming for wrapping up three structures in jukebox extension or study about the jukebox extension guys so this jukebox is also a bit most repeated question like a so it is also looking like a most repeated question so try to focus on this thing also you will get uh, otherwise leave it guys if you are uh, struggling to learn that question explain about the object creation and cloning of objects in ruby so try to learn this thing also because of uh, most of the questions based on the objects also they can ask explain about the memory management and its allocation methods in the ruby that means how the uh, how to way, how to assign the memory for a variable or array or hash how it is allocating this, the, the, uh, there are some methods in the every language so we'll try to learn them guys okay so next explain how does the jukebox work already we have learned uh, we have seen this question so try to move on to the next topic unit 3 what is scripting languages explain about the characters this is also a very easy question and repeated question so this is also important how do you create a list and tuple in the python we learn we learned but in Perl you have to write okay discuss about the defining regular expression this is also a very important question and most repeated question so because of most asked question also i will write maq so here you have to remember that uh, uh, most of the languages try to uh, fully focus on the regular expressions only because of it is tough to learn that's why okay demonstrate the various uses, uses of this uh, scripting languages this is also a most repeated question explain briefly about the web scripting guys so try to learn try to focus on uh, more focus on web scripting guys so on next how does Perl recognize the pattern using a regular expression see here again regular expression question so try to learn regular expression using Perl guys okay and explain about the control structure that is nothing but a looping statements branching statements jumping statements so if you go to any language the the things will be same guys are they for loops uh, same for loops same while loop same uh, if for same else so you have to learn control structures in one language and try to see the syntax in this different languages guys because of this is the same question there in the uh, Perl also Ruby also okay and explain built-in methods in the of string and number in the Perl so whatever what and all the methods are there for a string and number in Perl you have you should write here okay so explain about the list and explain Perl data types so you should explain here what and all data types are there in the Perl language you should explain here guys okay next write the differences between the list and hashes in Perl language so there is a uh, you should write the differences between the two two data structures here that is nothing but a list and hashes guys okay so next when it comes to fourth unit explain about the pack and unpack commands this is the most repeated question if you go to any paper and uh, explain about the how to handle the file system in Perl also this is also a very important question because file system is also most important topic guys that's why demonstrate the steps for integrate interfacing with operand system in Perl so this is also very 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 important question guys that's why here I have written very very important question and most asked question also okay try to fully focus on this question guys explain briefly about the dirty hands in the internet programming uh, this is also a very often question but you should learn okay you should learn and next outline the security issues in the internet programming of Perl so here they can ask a Ruby R Perl what and all the security issues in there in the internet programming by using the Ruby if they ask in the Ruby you have you should write the issues of the Ruby if, if they ask the Perl you should write the issues of the Perl guys okay how to create the packages and modules in the Perl this is also a very important question try to focus on that briefly explain the available data structures this is also very important guys and what is the use of final point this is uh, one more question so you can leave it so next you can see here that when it comes to 15 you need to try to focus on the uh, things that how, how are events handled in TK give an example of how to write internet application using TCL uh, this is also guys there we are using the uh, Perl here we are using the TCL and the here you can also see here control flow structures available in TCL so your luck guys because of they can ask the either control flow structures in the Perl or Ruby or TCL okay that's it explain the input and output procedures in TCL this is also important how to, how to write event driven programs in a TCL so try to try to focus on this thing and next so here you can also observe that security issues in the internet programming by using the TCL so if they if they ask Perl or Ruby or TCL you should write guys okay so next how to handle the trapping errors so see here how to how we are handling the errors in the TCL okay that's the thing and here try to focus 
focus on this thing guys write a toolkit script tool create a login form so they can ask sign up form login form or a student form so they can ask any question but the syntax and the uh, structure is same and program is also same guys let's just try to uh, try to update the uh, strings only okay so try to focus on this thing and next all you need one more question guys here you can see here that in the from the first unit web server and in the so what is the what is the web server and what is the use of soap services and what is a cookie and what is a scripting languages these are all the important things and try to focus on this thing also guys so thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel so yeah uh, we are teaching the online courses also guys as well as uh, we'll teach in the youtube also but when it comes to youtube you, uh, you won't get the too much concepts but when it comes to practical learning the entire course will be based on the practical learning only so if you are interested try to go to the coding and go to the courses section and select the course what and all you want guys so we are offering the courses like python to ml and python at uh, at a cheap cost are at low cost guys so uh, at, uh, at only nine uh, seven ninety nine rupees only we are offering the python to ml batch because of there we are providing python scale and ml so you can learn this all the three technologies for just triple nine triple nine or seven double nine guys okay so that is the thing we are offering so if you if you are interested you can go on search guys thank you for watching and please try to download this uh, question pdf from the our website guys i'll put this pdf in our website thank you guys